your favorite food. Yeah. Hi guys, it's me Anthony, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is gonna be my Southern Bullet Journal flip through. This one is gonna go down the books. It has quarantine, it has me moving, it has me getting into high school. It has a lot. So I'm gonna stop rebelling. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment on this video. If you guys love this video, be part of the stationary family. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into this flip through. All right. <laughs> so we're starting off these spreads with my cover page, well not my cover page, my name page. I took that theme from my men right actually and used it myself and kind of made it my own. I love the way these spreads turned out. I really did come back to my collection of spreads a lot during this show. I actually used my index as well. I never usually use my index. So this is my 2020 milestone. I am going to have to unfortunately cover this up because it has some personal information about my location but this is the great spacing cheat sheet everyone loves this spread i love this spread it helped me out so much and i'm thinking about doing a video on how to use this spread properly now these video planning spreads are some of the spreads i hate the most because this isn't categorized this isn't organized it was just very much a mess to fill in it and to look at. So I never really came back to spreads. Now this is one of my favorite spreads to do in the collection. It's my monthly, not my monthly playlist, my bullet journal playlist because I can just see what songs I was into during a certain time period. So I'm excited to see what songs I've been listening to since January. And it's gonna be an exciting one because it has a lot of corn tunes on here. So yeah, I'll link that playlist in the description box below if you guys are interested. Now you're probably wondering why these aren't filled in. I ran out of film in February, but I do have the pictures on my phone and I plan on getting a Polaroid printer so that I can print these pictures out and put them on here. All right. <laughs> this is one of my favorite themes because it has the structuredness I like and also has the abstractness I like with no boundaries and just kind of out there and wild and it was very much fun to fill in I love this habit tracker idea this playlist spread the daily review and this video slash task of the week this did not work out because it soon it was soon brought to my attention that they have to be put together I copied it from my December calendar because that worked out so perfectly but I need it was brought to my attention like I said it has to be on the same spread and not on a different spread for me to have a workout. And you're gonna see a plethora of different finance trackers because they just did not seem to work out for me. We were best friends. I mean, I, I knew everything about this girl. I knew her favorite color. I knew her favorite food. This is a nice, fun weekly log. I love the circle in the middle with the abstract art in it, and then the stickers. These are some, this is Christian Design X Llama Letters stickers. I'll link those in the description box below because I know you guys were asking me a lot about those on my Instagram. So yeah, I'll link them in the description box. Here's my February Japanese culture theme. This was inspired by a war geography project I had to do. and. This is very popular in my stadium, you know, everyone loves them. So if you're not following me on stadium, you need to, that'll be linked to the description box below. A lot of things are linked to the description box below. So the description box is where it's at, kids, and the video. But I'll link my migration and the iCard right here, I think. I don't know where I'm pointing at. Um, I did this theme and I also mixed in my moon theme to go with it. This playlist spread is iconic. It just is so pretty. It's amazing i love the idea of doing the phone thing that's not my original idea but i love how it turned out with the playlist covers and the cherry blossoms behind you with the fans i think and the sushi and the japanese titles as you can see each spread has their own japanese characters for the title instead of doing my actual calligraphy <laughs> you notice how i do sleep trackers throughout the month 
and they don't work out because I have an inconsistent sleep schedule, which is gonna get fixed over the summer. So don't you guys worry, it's gonna get fixed. So we're moving on to March, which is like this old timey book theme. I got this idea from Pippa's art. I think that's how you pronounce it, or Pippa's art. Her channel is so aesthetic and it's cool. I knew her favorite food. are some daily logs from the month of March. This is a task list from our, my rebranding task list. I have yet to finish these things. I should be finished before the end of the school, end of the year, most likely by the end of the summer. So yeah, look, Tay, keep out a lookout for that. Yeah. Now this is April. This is gonna be really crazy to look at filled in because it feels like April was just yesterday and the year is going by so fast. As you'll see, the sleep tracker, I stopped that. I stopped on like the 7th in March. I stopped at the 24th. And then in February, which just even worse, honestly. So I just eventually was like, yeah, these are not working out for me. I'm gonna stop them all together. streams i go live on instagram a lot now more than i used to and i started like weekly spreads i set up bullet journal spreads i doodle digitally with my tablet on there sometimes i edit videos sometimes i just sit there and talk to you guys so go follow me on instagram which is linked to scratch but it'll be right here at ss stationary and become part of the stationary fam so i didn't like this weekly spread so i had redid it just to come find out that i wanted to do daily logs so i never really looked at this but I mean, it was fun to set up, so, you know, can't, I don't regret it. We were best friends. I mean, I, I knew everything about this girl. I knew her favorite color. I knew her favorite food. Yeah. Moving on to the most current month, which is May. And this is one of those themes I combined with the Japanese culture theme. I did the moons with it. These spreads aren't completely filled in because I am filming this in May, because it's going out in May. <laughs> but so far, all these spreads are working out perfectly and I love. This gratitude log is helping me stay a little bit more positive from this quarantine. I'm so ready to get out. Um, as of right now, we're about to get out very soon, so I'm excited right. about that. <laughs> This is a quarantine journal me. I'm planning on using this as a way to reflect on how I've grown from quarantine and things like that. I just haven't filled it in yet because we're not officially out of quarantine. Now these are some great daily logs. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love these daily logs so much. The color scheme, the lettering, the little doodle down here the stars it was a very much fun and easy day logs and it made doing my work and being productive a lot more easier i feel like some people don't underestimate the power of creativity in their bullet journals because creativity is what helps me get those things done when i can see those little black circles or those x's kind of marked off my bullet journal it makes me feel accomplished and the creativeness of these each of these spreads makes me want to do, do that thing and even more. I knew her favorite food. Yeah. And so this is the week of the 18th through the 24th. I've yet to set this up. I have already set this up on a live stream on Instagram. So go ahead and check that out. Link in the description box below, like I said. Go follow me. So these are just some planning spurs for migration, April. And this is the original April theme. As you can see, it just didn't come together. So I didn't do it. That's for TikTok, but yeah, that's it for this seventh bullet journal flip through. I have been through seven bullet journals, three year anniversary coming up soon. So I hope you guys enjoy it, got some inspiration, got a little look into my journal. You guys haven't seen much of this journal on YouTube. So it was pretty fun to flip through it. And I hope you guys got some inspiration. I love you guys as always. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, follow me on Study Mino, follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel and become part of the stationary family. 
And that's it for me. For me. So see you guys in the next one. Bye.